So, I'm uh, down here in North Inch and Mewton, Baby Cook, looking at the give or take boxes. Uh, I've been around a couple, found some ingredients, but this is what they look like. Uh, absolutely brilliant idea what we've got here. We've got some rice, got some pasta, got some fresh rosemary at the bottom. Um, we've got some other tins of things like uh, tomatoes, so we've got a good idea of what we're going to do. So we're going to go home, Baby Cook HQ, and get cooking. Hi, so back up here at Beardy Cook HQ. So, been around a couple of the give or take boxes today, so we're going to do some cooking with some of the ingredients we found. Coffee's on, which is the important bit. Uh, ingredients are laid out, ready to go. We'll get them on the stove. What we're going to do today is a bit of a kind of veggie burrito kind of thing. So, I'm going to make some flatbreads, uh, do a rice dish quickly, and bring it all together. See you on the other side. Right, so this is me board ready to go. A couple of the bits we uh, saw up at the North Inch and Mewton community give or take boxes. So I've got some beans in water, um, all I had in my cupboard were these ones, mostly you're going to find kidney beans exactly the same. There's some um, stock that we're going to cook the rice in, a tin of tomatoes, uh, some oregano, some chilli powder, these are from my cupboards but they're cheap enough to buy them in these chilli powders any what about I think 50p in Morrison's. Uh, I've got an onion, what we saw in one of the boxes was somebody put some fresh rosemary out, so I'm going to use some of the fresh rosemary from my doorstep. And a carrot. For the flatbreads, I'm going to be using this white gold. And some yoghurt. Uh, so literally just bringing together flour, yoghurt, little pinch of salt. Get them in a hot pan. Lovely, soft, floury flatbreads. Uh, put the rice in. If you've got some meat that you want to put in there, brilliant way to do it. Great for using leftovers up. So let's see how we do it. Right, so first thing you want to be doing is getting your rice on. I'm using a mug to measure. When you're cooking rice, for I'm doing it for two people, I'd use half a mug of rice and a full mug of water and a stock cube. So just give this a quick shot limp. Now, I always cook my rice in stock because it tastes better. Nothing worse than eating a boring dish. So, show you the cupboards quickly. So over here, I've got a pan on the heat, ready to go. It's on a hot heat. How kind of English is that? So rice goes in. Give it a quick wiggle about, and then use my sink. Got a full mug of water. That's going to go in. And then simply crumble in a stock cube and when it boils turn it right down to lowest heat and leave it there until all the water is absorbed. The rice is cooked. How do you know it's cooked? Taste it. Simple way to do it. Get a little bit on the fork. Is it chewy? Yes. Maybe add a bit more water. Is it done? If it is, great. If there's still some water left, tip it off, run it through a sieve. Simple. So, back to the flatbreads. Right, so change mugs. I'm going to use a mug of flour for these. Obviously I know flour is a little bit hard to get hold of at the moment, but if you can get it, these are well worth making. And also, it's coming in at a fraction of a price of buying the things. Now I've done these before, uh, they come out like naan breads. So if you're making an Indian meal, this is a beautiful way to make something a bit similar to a naan bread. And add some salt that much. Give that a quick stir with a clean finger. And then I'm using 0% fat natural yoghurt. You can use pretty much anything you like, just not strawberry. So, just going to give that a quick stir. Separate it slightly. And then start with a small amount. It doesn't take a lot of kneading this, which is quite nice. Just start bringing that together. Obviously not enough in there, so... A little bit more. Now what you're looking for a dough that's nice and firm, not too wet, not too sticky. And what you can do is bring it together. There's no real kneading 
needed, which is nice. Everything you need to do is shape it out on a flower board and then put it on a hot pan and let it cook. Alright, so, let's get my fingers in there now. Best way to do this, get your hands in, have a feel, have a play, make sure everything's properly mixed in. Stuff it on the back of the spatula, get that off. So what you're looking for is a nice dough that doesn't stick to your fingers, doesn't stick to the bowl too much. Everything's incorporated. Da -da. That's coming together nicely. Obviously if you put too much yoghurt in you can correct with a bit of flour. Too much flour, add a little bit more yoghurt. If you run out of yoghurt, slip a bit of water in, no one will judge you. And if you wanted to add some herbs or spices to this, as a little twist, that would be really cool. You can add some finely chopped garlic or some chilli powder, some garam masala, anything you fancy. Right, so that's come together nicely. So we'll put that to one side and we'll crack on with the rest dish. Okay, so you've made the dough for the flatbreads. The rice is cooking. I made my hands about, which is what the shadows are. You can't actually see that, so don't know why I'm doing it. Next, we're going to make the base for the rice. So we're going to use the onion. So top off. Through the roof. And take its clothes off. So just pull that away. Clear your board. And then... Knife, watching your fingers, just slice it through, nice even slices. I'm only going to use half because there's only two of us eating. And then with the carrot, just get rid of the bottom. And then these speed peelers are worth their weight in gold. I think mine was about two quid out of Ikea some years ago. Right, so that's shaved it, and then you can continue using that just to make nice long strokes. So in the background I've got a pan on the heat, so it's getting warm. Always cook on a hot pan. Pan's on a medium heat on the hob. Not medium-ish, I've got numbers going to one at six and it's on four. So. If you haven't got a speed peeler, you can shave the carrot in the traditional matter with, manner with a knife and then just run it down a grater. If you've got anything like rabbits, they love to nibble on these ends. Right, so that's that, ready to go. What I'm going to do is drain the tin of beans and then we'll get all this in the pan. Right, so ready to cook. I've got the frying pan on the heat. So it's a, like I say, a medium high heat. Splash of oil in there just to coat the bottom. Uh, rice is off now, so what I've done is I've left that with the lid on steaming. So my ingredients ready to go. I've got the onion, carrot, tin of tomatoes, which I'm going to use half of. The other half you could put with the other half of the onion, make a quick pasta sauce for the night. Uh, my tin of beans, coffee, that's not going in. Rosemary. And that is chilli powder and oregano. What I've done is mix that in some water so when you add it to the pan, it spreads about evenly, doesn't burn. L brilliant little trick. Make sure everything's coated with a flavour. So, on the show. Put that to one side. This is where you get to see my skill at one-handed cooking and filming. So the first thing that's going to go in is the onion. Now you can add anything you like to these little rice dishes. Brilliant carry as a flavour. So if you wanted to use... Oops. You've got a pepper, uh, some chilli, some celery, anything like that. Get it into the base. Get it cooking. Adds loads of flavour. Stop the onion in. This is the carrot going in. 
nice thing about carrot is it adds some sweetness to a dish. If you've got people that don't like carrot, a great way to sneak it in if you're sneaking veg into dishes is to grate it. Uh, I add it to all sorts of things. I've added it to bolognese, to chilli. A friend of mine that came over one night and he was making a shepherd's pie. And he was cooking big lumps of carrot in a separate pan. I was like, what are you doing that for? He said, oh, I don't want big lumps of carrot in a dish. And it's using an extra pan, that's more washing up. Hmm, don't want big lumps of carrot. I'm just grating it. So that's things going in. You'll notice I've not seasoned yet. So what we want is these beans to cook down, get a bit mushy, smash them with the back of the spatula a little bit. Not too much. Everything mixed up, so salt going in, good pinch. Make sure everything's covered. Uh, pepper, that'll go in in a minute. It's already pepper on And once the veg is cooked down a bit, I'll add the tin of tomatoes and the cooked rice. And once that's made, we can quickly do some flatbreads and present up. Right, so the beans have started to get a little bit smooshier now. I'm not going to mash them up too much. I've added the rosemary. Don't bother peeling it or chopping it, just get it in nice and fragrant and then pick it out right at the end. Or the other thing you can do is strip the leaves off and just pick the twig out. Or if there's somebody you don't like, give them the twig. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to leave that just for another couple of minutes and then add the tomatoes and the rice and that should be us finishing off. Right, so everything's starting to uh, come together nicely in the pan. So I've got the chilli powder and oregano mix. That's going to go in. Give it a good stir around. Make sure everything gets a little drink. And then we've got Half tin of tomatoes. So you can see on the chopping board there I've got flour ready to knead the flatbreads out. Pan in the background. On a little bit of oil in there. Encouragement. There it goes. So this is the rice going in. Put left in there. Put out the way. Right. Now to start chopping the rice in. Make sure there's no lumps. The rice gets fully coated. Right, that's just going to need a couple of minutes just to warm through. Make sure everything's Nicely cooked, so just flatten that out, make sure everything's on the heat. Uh, next thing is the breads. So we're going to use the griddle pan for that. If you've not got a griddle pan, a uh, frying pan with just a little, little touch of oil in the bottom, just to make sure nothing sticks, is absolutely perfect for these. You want the pan hot, so when the bread hits, it starts to cook, starts to bubble, and you get that lovely, fluffy, soft texture that you do from a, from a naan bread. So I'm going to roll some out, get them on the pan, show you what's happening. Right, that's the first bread gone into the pan. Uh, make them whatever shape you like. For the life of me, I cannot do round things. This is how my pizzas come out. This is how all my breads come out. It's my one of many failings in life, I suppose. So that's going to go fairly quickly if the pan's hot. When it starts to bubble up, get golden. What you need to do, flip it over, give it a couple of minutes on the other side. The bar marks on the griddle pan leave a lovely, lovely pattern. If you've not got one, 
don't worry too much about it. It's just Ponzi stuff. It's all going to taste good. Right, so that's it turned over. You can see where the oil's been in the pan. That's where the oil's been. That's where it's not. Just reposition that slightly. You can also see it's got quite a lot thicker than when it went on. That's going to continue to bubble as it heats on that side. And that's going to serve as a base for this wonderful burrito veg mix. Which is here. Which is done. So if you don't want to use the rosemary, just pick it out. Probably should have considered this is hot. And dispose. Now to serve, all you need to do is put a good spoon of that onto that. If you can roll it up because you've made round ones, brilliant. If not, knife and fork job. Toppings, add anything, anything, anything you want. If you've got some leftover roast meat from the weekend, get that in the pan, get that hot with it. If you've got some garlic that you want to put in there, if you've got a bit of hot sauce that you want to put over the top. I know Mrs. Beardy Cook loves a bit of sriracha on there. Or some spring onions. Got some fresh herbs. Let's just have another look at the other side. Now you can see that. It's lovely and soft. And pretty much ready to go. So I'm just going to give it another quick blast on that side. And then I'll show you plating up. And then we have finished product. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of spring onion on there, uh, possibly a little drizzle of hot sauce. But that is it. Lovely soft, pillowy bread, good rice, some beans, and a little bit of chilli flavour in there as well. Now, with what's left in the pan, I think you could easily feed four people a nice light lunch on that. The bread makes enough for four people, that's the second one going in. So, happy days! So, that's been me, cooking again in the Beardy Cook Kitchen. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope if you can get down to the North Inch and Muirton community boxes. If you can give, please do. They're a wonderful idea. And if you do need to, don't be afraid to take. So this has been me, Beardy Cook, signing out. See you next time.